Hi all, now uh, uh, we are going to talk about one of the very important concept in 7QC tool, we call that uh, Pareto chart. So Pareto chart is one of the most frequently used uh, quality control tools in, in, in quality process, right? So limited, in, in this video we'll be talking about what Pareto chart is, what does this tell us, how, how do we interpret a Pareto chart, and how do we make Pareto chart in Minitab? Right, how we'll be interpreting those results. So let me tell you Pareto chart is based on Pareto principle. A principle uh, that, was, that was named after Wilfredo Pareto, one of, one of the uh, economists of Rome who found that at that point in time in Rome, 80% of the lands were just acquired by 20% of the people. And from there on, uh, uh, one principle came and, and we call that 80-20 principle. And trust me, you can see this, prin this principle. This principle is applicable everywhere, everywhere. If you see in a company, uh, almost 80% of the sales will be done just by 20% of the people, right? This principle says that 80% of the effects are contributed by just 20% of the factors. So if you see, if you go to a sales company. And if you have any experience in sales company, you will see that 80% of the times, 80% of the sales that, that, pe that, uh, that is done will be done by just 20% of the people. Similarly, 80% of the loss will, will just be incurred by 20% of the products. Similarly, 80% of the defects will just be incurred by 20% of the factors. Similarly, 80% of the profits will just be incurred by 20% of the products, right? So this principle is applicable everywhere, right? But generally, uh, in, in, in field of quality, right, in, in, in quality processes, we generally use it to find out few vital factors that are contributing to maximum defects. Now, theoretically, the principle is 80-20, but in real life, it's not necessary that it's, it's exactly going to be 80-20. It can be 70 uh, 30, it can be uh, say 75, 25. Moral of the story is using Pareto principle, you will find out few vital factors that will be contributing to maximum defects or say uh, that will be contributing maximum to the effect. So now uh, if you are working on, on say defects, if, if you want to reduce defects, there can be many reasons to many reasons, many reasons of defect, right? So should you, I mean, instead of working on those all reasons of defect, why not, to, why not to prioritize first that what is the major reason of defect, right? Which factor is contributing maximum to that defect? And why not to work on, uh, on that factor which has maximum contribution instead of working on all those factors, right? Despite the fact that Pareto, Pareto, Pareto principle is applicable everywhere, it's applicable uh, in, 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 in case of revenue, it's applicable in, in, in source of, I mean, in case of sales, but we use it in case, we use it mostly in, in case of defect. And generally we use Pareto chart in, in, in case of discrete data, right? Because in, in case of continuous data, we already have uh, so many tools, but yeah, you can use there. Uh, you can also use Pareto in case of continuous data. Now, let me show you how we use Pareto. You can see here, I have a data, right? Now, if you see this data, this is data of rejection of t-shirts. This is data of one t-shirt manufacturing company. And I can see these are the reasons on the ground of which those, those t-shirts were rejected. And these are the counts. How many times these all t I mean, uh, these are the counts that uh, because of this reason, uh, th this many times those t-shirts were uh, rejected. Now, as of now, we just have eight reasons. In in real life, you you may have ten or twenty reasons because of which because because of which rejection will happen. But now the question comes: so on which region should we work? Should we work on reducing all those regions? Will it be possible? Should we sh should we do that? And shall we get better results? The answer is C. You cannot work on all those factors. First, it's gonna be costly. Second, it's not gonna be very much effective. Rather than working on these all factors, why not to prioritize which factor has maximum impact? 
what is the factor because of which we, we have received maximum number of rejection prioritize that and work on that rather than rather than working on all those factors let's work on those factor which has huge contribution so now how how shall we find that so for that what we'll do is we'll, we'll use pareto chart now how we use pareto chart we would go to quality tools we would go to pareto chart okay all right now in pareto chart we would go to this option of uh, defect uh, I'm, I'm sorry chart defects table go here labels in labels means regions okay frequencies in count selected just do okay and this is what you'll get so this is nothing but this is the bar chart bar chart of 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 color mismatch bar chart of finishing error bar chart of design mismatch bar chart of fabric printing and all this and these are the frequencies how many times did we receive rejection because of color mismatch so see here it's it's written written it's it's above uh, 2500 something i believe uh, let's put our cursor here yes uh, 2578 times we received uh, rejection because of color mismatch because of finishing we received uh, 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 rejection 1982 times whenever you you'll make pareto chart what pareto will do is pareto will make first uh, this, this bar charts and bar having highest frequency will be put to our left see here this is the bar which has highest frequency and just beside you will see this is the bar which has a second highest frequency and then third then fourth and so on okay now if you see here because of this color mismatch 43 percent of the uh, defects are happening so out of the total uh, rejection just color mismatch has contribution of 43 percent that means 43.7 percent of the times those those rejections are happening because of this color mismatch similarly just because of finishing error uh, those uh, rejections are happening 33 percent of the times so if we add both this is cumulative percentage cumulative means we are adding both the percentage so if we add color and finishing this this both regions uh, uh, combinedly are are contributing 77.3 percent of the rejections that means instead of working on these all factors how if i just work just work on these two factors don't you think if i just work on these two factors that will help me reduce my rejections to to a greater extent okay i i also will have to spend a smaller amount of money smaller resource rather than uh, in, in case wherein uh, i would like to reduce this this, this all factors there i would i would like to spend I would have to spend more money I would have to implement more resource right more time waste and 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 the result that that I will get will not be much effective so if you want if I want effective result rather I would prefer working on these, these two factors and see uh, this is uh, th this shows that uh, just two of these factors are combinedly contributing 77.3 percent of the uh, defects okay so this is how uh, we use Pareto so this is the basic principle of Pareto and, and using this basic principle of Pareto you can find out those few vital factors wherever if you are if you're working for a call center and therein you are auditing quality right you have 10 opportunity and then you want to uh, you want to uh, know that what is the opportunity where the problem is happening right most of the people where they are making defect then using Pareto chart you can find out those few vital opportunities wherein people that are making defect okay similarly if you are working for sales firm right and and, and you want to know uh, the few vital factors the few vital people who are making maximum sales so that you can reward them and so that you can promote them then you can use Pareto chart and you can find those 80 percent of the people at the same time if you convert those data into a percentage of times or say uh, people not meeting target uh, 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 format if you convert see uh, generally in, in case of sales you will have data saying that this guy made this much sale yeah or or say this team leader made this much sale uh, let me give you an example so let's say for example let me 
minimize this okay now let's say for example I have data that uh, there is a team leader called RAM and, and uh, a team of RAM is, is making sales of say this much uh, 123,456 similarly Sam is making uh, 67,000 this much uh, Harry is making 49 mm, this much Gopi is making sale of Gopi is making sale of uh, Gopi let's say 67,000 okay and and uh, say if, if this is the way uh, we have data then we can find out that uh, which team leader uh, uh, this way we can find out using Pareto, uh, Pareto chart that which are few team leader uh, which are contributing to maximum sales right now if you will have to find out team leader right uh, who are contributing to maximum people not meeting target in that case you need to change the data that, that's what I wanna I wanted to show you so let's say if you want to find out team leader a uh, few vital team leader uh, uh, which are contributing to maximum problem so what you will do is you would, you would find data in such a way that let's say number of people not meeting uh, target in Ram's team is say 8 number of people not meeting target in, in, in Sam's team is say 15 number of people not meeting target in, in Harry's team is say uh, 20 number of people not meeting uh, uh, target in Gopi's team is say uh, 23 in, in Morocco say the count is say, 25 this way now what we did now we are willing to find people we are willing to find team leader where the problem is happening if we take data of sale then we'll just find team leaders who are giving best performance we'll find just few vital team leaders uh, whose performance is very good and they're contributing maximum to the overall overall sale now if we, if we are concerned with team leader uh, uh, wh whose performance is not up to the mark and who are contributing to people not meeting target then then what we will do we would go to we would make data in, in, in such a way that in, in one column we'll have data of team leader and in another column we'll have data of people uh, not meeting target now we would go to quality tools Pareto chart in Pareto uh, so what I'll do region instead of labels I'll put here name of team leader and in count I'll put C5 okay see here this shows that Merkel alone is contributing 27.5 percent that means out of out of people not meeting target uh, in, in, in the list of such people Merkel has a Merkel is contributing 27.5 percent that means 27.5% of the total people not meeting target are from Merkel's team. If I add Merkel and Gopi, both uh, combinedly are contributing 52.7%. And if I add Harry, uh, these three are adding up to 74.7%. So instead of working on all the team leaders, I will just work on these three team leaders. And I'll ensure that these three team leaders uh, uh, are making their, their team members made uh, their sales target okay so I hope now you know how to use Pareto chart in your own life to find out those few vital factors right in case if you have any question you can write to me thank you